imagination gallery thank you for joining i'm so happy to see you all here today now let's know today's topic friends in today's africa series we will paint a lovely painting from the land of pharaohs and a thousand sons the everyday life of ancient egypt and if you are new to this unique painting session for the first time you're watching then definitely watch it till the end because there is always a story behind every painting friends the start of the week means it's time for imagination gallery and today we are here with the 75th episode of the africa series and we will once again look back at a very beautiful egypt surrounded by mystery we will see one of the most amazing architectures in the history of egypt or we can say of all human civilization pyramid builders pharaohs to give their orders would imagine we would imagine that maybe this is how the huge structures were built we will be picking into pages of history and we'll also amazed ourselves how these ancient egyptians built these huge things and how was their everyday life all through this painting painting that tells you a story and evokes your eagerness to know what's behind stick around with us friends the oldest and largest of these uh, pyramids is the uh, three pyramids at giza known as the great pyramid is the only surviving structure out of the framed seven uh, famed seven wonders of the ancient world uh, it was built for pharaoh khufu uh, sneferu's successor and the second eight kings of the fourth dynasty pyramids today stand as a reminder of the ancient egyptians glorification of life after death and in fact the pyramids were built as mo monuments to house the tombs of the pharaohs death was seen as merely the beginning of a journey to the other world the pyramids of giza like the egyptian pyramids that came before and after them were royal tombs a final resting place for their pharaohs or kings they were often part of an extensive funerary complex that included queen's burial sites and mortuary temples for daily offerings it's easy to see friends how, why people are so fascinated with the egyptian pyramids there are a lot of mystery surrounding their construction You probably don't believe the conspiracy theories that say they were built by aliens but they weren't built by slave labor either. So, how did people 4000 years ago create some of the largest most iconic structures on earth? The most plausible one, one is uh, that the Egyptians employed a sloping and encircling embankment of brick, earth and sand. which was increased in height and length as the pyramid rose stone blocks were hauled up the ramp by means of sledge rollers and levers archaeologists now believe that the great pyramid of giza was built by tens of thousands of skilled workers who camped near the pyramids and worked for a salary or as a, a form of tax payment uh, until the construction was completed pointing to workers cemeteries discovered in 1990 for the middle kingdom pyramid of amen amenemet 2 uh, there is evidence from the annual stone of the king that foreigners from kanan uh, were employed The first and largest pyramid at Giza was built by Pharaoh Khufu uh, and his pyramid which today stands 455 feet tall is known as the Great Pyramid. It was considered to be a wonder of the world by ancient writers. Then 
Queens, Egypt's pharaohs have, a, have left an impressive legacy of stone architecture, monumental inscriptions and religious art, allowing us to reconstruct their achievement with a fair degree of certainty. But what was daily life like for the ordinary Egyptian or for the pharaohs? Egypt had a highest birth rate in the ancient world and yet things went far, were far from perfect. Everyone, even the god and goddesses, married. An unmarried man was seen as incomplete there. The Egyptians built their towns and cities from mud brick, reserving stone for their temples and tombs. Friends, Egypt was very fertile land and under normal circumstances no one went hungry. Food could be homegrown, earned in the form of rations, haunted fish or uh, battered at market. Water could be obtained from wells, the Nile or irrigation canals built by the Egyptians. Many painted tomb walls show Egypt's light dressed in gleaming white, intricately pleated garments as they walk through the fields or enjoy a tasty banquet. And how was the pharaoh's life? What they have to do? What was their role? Maintaining religious harmony and participating in ceremonies were a part of pharaoh's role as a head of the religion. As a state statement, uh, the pharaoh made laws, waged war, collected taxes and oversaw all the land in Egypt, which was owned by them only. Friends, Egypt was a vast kingdom of the ancient world. It was unified around 3100 BCE and lasted as a leading economical and cultural influence throughout North Africa and parts of the Levant until it was conquered by the Macedonians in 332 BCE. As an incredible feat of engineering, Egyptologists are still discovering more about these structures with each passing year. The Egyptian pyramids are one of the defining architectural achievements of ancient world. Pyramids today stand as a reminder of ancient Egyptians' glorification of life after death. In fact, the pyramids were built as monuments to house the tomb of the pharaohs. Well, what more can I say friends? We will definitely try to surprise you with our Africa series. Let's celebrate all the color of life with Imagination Gallery.
So hope you liked and enjoyed today's African magical journey to ancient Egypt. If you like our unique painting session then don't forget to subscribe our channel. Wishing you an amazing week. Bye for now.